Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Wednesday, February 28, 2024. Huh, day? Two days before the weekend. I'm at work, taking a little break. Decided to check in with y'all, see how y'all doing, right? And first, let me again thank y'all for all your support. And since I've been dealing with y'all, right? Been rocking with y'all, making the videos, interacting, coming back and forth. There are some good people that have entered my life through this platform right here. We don't meet up in person or nothing like that, but I'm able to see that there's still some good people left in the world. Everybody's not a hater. Even though I got some haters mixed in the group in the bunch, I just throw them back like the trash fish when you're fishing. I don't pay them no attention. But overall, I see that there are still some good people left in the world from just seeing y'all. So I appreciate y'all for being who you are. Thank you for your support, for not hating, for encouraging me. I'm grateful. No star over here. It's not about I'm blowing up. If we blowing up, I can't, how I'm going to blow up without y'all. So, I wouldn't care if I had 100 million subscribers. There's no star right here. I, I don't like that star personality. I'm a laid back. And if I do blow up, y'all will see that he really telling the truth. He's just a regular, he's still a regular dude. Well, I ain't regular. Or average. But y'all get what I'm saying. So, I, I, I'm, I'm grateful. I really am. So, that's why I'm here to bring this message to y'all. Because I appreciate y'all and I want to see y'all doing well at all times. Even though I know that's possible, it's still something I want to see. So, I want to prepare y'all for some upcoming dark days. I'm not a prophet. Don't play one on TV. I'm none of that. I'm just a guy who studied. I'm well read. I'm country. But I'm smarter than your average cat. Am I toot my own horn? Yes. You should toot your own horn too. Don't wait for nobody else to toot your horn. Toot it yourself. If you wait some if you wait for somebody else to toot your horn. It'll never get tooted. Toot toot. But anyway. I want y'all, all my listeners, family, friends, haters, even for the haters. Y'all listen to me right now. We got some dark days coming. But before I go on further with this message right here. I want to take you out. And I'm not a Bible thumper. I'm not a religious guy. I believe in God. I'm a spiritual guy. I know the other, I know the other living God. I know all of this before it didn't just pop up out of nowhere. You know, some a wing evolved from no monkeys or none of that. So with that being said, I'm not a religious guy. I don't believe in any religion. But I have read many of the books, the, the Bible, the Torah, the Quran, all that. You name it, I've read some of it. You know, I just like to read, like to know stuff. I'm curious for information and knowledge. And in the good book of the Bible, there's a story about a, a guy named Joseph. And uh, y'all, I ain't going to tell y'all the whole story, but part of the story, he was in prison for, uh, he, he was a beautiful man, handsome, one of the, one of the best looking men to ever live, gorgeous man, I ain't, and no homo, and 
Pharaoh's wife tried to get with him, right? Joseph was a servant, or was a like the right hand man to Pharaoh. Y'all, you know, read the Bible if you want to know the whole story. I ain't got time to tell you the whole story. So, Pharaoh's wife tried to get with Joseph because he was a gorgeous man and she was turned on by him and she tried to cheat on Pharaoh with pretty much his right hand man. Joseph turned her down. She went and lied on Joseph to Pharaoh, said Joseph tried to holler at her women. So, Joseph was thrown in prison. I was up. Did I get, hold on. No, I don't, I don't want too far. I don't want too far. That's farther along in the story. What was Joseph thrown But anyway, Joseph was in prison. I, I, I forgot what he was in. I have to go back and read that story. But y'all know what I'm talking about if you, you astute with the Bible. Joseph was in prison. Pharaoh had a dream. Pharaoh wanted to know what the dream was, what it meant. Somebody told Pharaoh about the guy named Joseph in prison. He's known for interpreting dreams. So Pharaoh had them to ask, bring Joseph to him and ask him what the dream, the dream meant. So Joseph said the dream meant, means, I've got exactly what happened with the dream. But basically the dream meant, according to Joseph, what he was telling Pharaoh, your dream means Egypt going to have seven years a feast. I'm talking about balding. Beautiful economy. Everybody booming. Everybody making money. Wonderful. Seven years of eating good. Followed by seven years of famine. Of devastating hunger and hard times. So Joseph recommended or suggested to Pharaoh during the seven years where everything is good don't go bald. Instead, the seven years of good times put up all of that for the seven years of bad times to come. So, when the, so Pharaoh did what Joseph said. So when the hard times came, Egypt breathed right on through it. While I think a lot of other nations failed because they weren't prepared for it. But the Egyptians, according to the story, because of Joseph interpreting the dream, Egypt put up when it was doing good, they put up, instead of going buying stuff, gold, all that type stuff, they put up. All that extra money they were making, they saved it. Because they knew the hard time was coming. Okay, now let me tell you what they got to do with what we got going on. Some of y'all, some of us are doing good right now. We're doing good last year, year before last, especially when all that stimulus money hit and COVID and uh, they were paying people not to work, you know, the unemployment, plus, you know, they were just, people were balling. PPP loans and y'all know what I'm talking about, money was flowing. People was balling. Still people doing good right now. Even though there's a lot of people doing bad. For those who are doing good right now. And those that are not doing so good. First to the ones that are not doing so good. You better go. Figure out. Find a way to get you some money. And once you do that. Put it up. Don't go bald. Don't go get no credit cards. Don't go get nothing. Cash. Save, save, save. To the people that are doing good right now. That's balling. And you've been thinking, you've been eyeing that house you want to buy. You've been thinking about investing in some things. The stock market. Whatever. You've been thinking about this car you've been wanting for years, now you can finally, finally able to afford it. So forth and so on. Y'all get where I'm going. You finally got to where you got some money now. Things going good for you. Business looking up. Money flowing. Everything good for you right now. So you about to live a little. 
do some things you dreamed of, travel, see the world, you know, live a little. Not so fast, my friend. I see ahead. I'm not a prophet. I don't play one on TV. But I look at indicators, factors. I'm a trucker. So a lot of times when the economy is doing bad, we know it before the average citizen knows it. We're headed for trouble. Some serious trouble. So look at me as Joseph and y'all as Pharaoh. While you're going through your good times right now, put it up. Prepare for the famine. The famine is coming. Prepare for the famine. It's on the way. I'm not a prophet. I don't care what Mr. Biden administration is saying about the economy is good and inflation is low and the stock market is booming. And don't fall for it. I'm telling you, you ain't got to believe me. Do what you want to do. Hold what you got. I'm not a financial analyst, advisor, none of that. So you follow my advice at your own discretion. Let me just say, this is what I'm doing or what I'm about to do. And I'm just sharing it with y'all. I'm not telling y'all what to do. I'm telling you right now what my plan. I ain't investing in nothing. No stock market, none of that. I'm not buying one of the overinflated, expensive homes. None of that. Every dollar, every dime I make from here on out is getting put up for the family. But what if you wrong, big boy? I hope I am. If I'm wrong and what I'm saying gonna happen don't happen, guess what? I just got a lot of money over here saved. That's all. I ain't hurt no harm, no fall, right? If I'm wrong, if what I'm telling y'all gonna happen don't happen, what harm can come from you saved a lot of money? You put up money for a hard time that didn't come. Now you got a little extra money over here. Is there anything wrong with that? I'm not telling you to invest in a stock that's gonna crash or something like that. I'm telling you save, just hold your money. No cars, no houses, none of that. If you ain't already bought all that, if you're planning on buying something, hold up. Hold up for a little while. Keep an eye on what's going on in the world. You see what's going on over there with uh, Ukraine. What, well, Ukraine too. You don't hear about that much of the news no more. Israel and Gaza, Palestine, whatever you want to call it. You see what's going on with that. We got weekend at Bernie's in the White House. And then we got another guy getting ready to try to get back in office. Y'all see what we got going on. People came up, you know, because I, me personally, I only think the president can really do for the average citizen, us, the working people, is try to keep them taxes low and the work flowing, the economy going. All the other stuff don't affect everybody. Abortion, gay rights. That don't affect all of us, man. The only thing that affects everybody, no matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican, is the economy. People not being able to work and provide for them for their families and being taxed to death. That's the only thing that affects everybody. Y'all around here arguing and bickering over abortion and gay rights and blah, blah, blah. That don't affect everybody. A lot of us, they ain't got, gay rights ain't got nothing to do with me. Whether I'm for it or against it, ain't got nothing to do with me. The economy does. Taxes does. And right now, the guy we got in office is an imbecile. When it comes to that. So what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all hate the other guy. He's a racist. He's just not. The guy we got in the office is a racist too. The guy we got in the office is a racist too. I don't know where y'all get that idea from that just the Republicans are racist. 
But that ain't what we talk. I ain't talking Democrat, Republican, none of that. I'm talking about economy, money, and where we headed. We headed for a downturn. We already there. If y'all ain't noticed it, your president and his administration is lying to you when he tell y'all how good we're doing, how your pocket's doing. Food, gas, rent, mortgages, interest rates. But we're doing good. Okay, believe that. You ain't got to listen to me. But for those who are willing to listen, prepare for the famine. I am Joseph, y'all are Pharaoh. You can listen or you ain't got to. The famine is coming. If you're doing good right now, hold what you got. If you're not doing good right now, figure out a way to do good to prepare. Are you really gonna be in trouble? The overtime they're offering you, you ain't feel like doing it, you better take it. The extra job you ain't feel like working, you better work it. You ain't gonna get them folks your weekend, you better go in there on that weekend and work. Some hard times coming, y'all. They already here. Some of y'all might be lucky enough to have had a little cushion or you still doing good financially. Well, you ain't realizing we have some hard time right, right now. But it ain't reached everybody. I'm a trucker. I know the economy right now is screwed. Our government is steady, wasting money. They're helping other people, won't help their own people in the country. It's going to catch up with, with everybody. We're going to pay for it. So while you're in the time of good, prepare for the famine. The house you wanted, the car you wanted, whatever, the vacation you wanted to take, the cruise you want to go on, postpone it for a little while. Just till the storm blow over. And then go get your house. Because what's going to happen is, the housing market, these prices can't sustain. People can't afford to buy the houses. People can't pay the rent. People can't buy the houses. People can't pay the rent. What you think going to happen? You got these so-called investors out here buying houses. I'm talking about I'm in Mobile, Alabama. The average median income is like $42,000. And people out here charging $1,700, $1,800 a month for rent in Mobile. Double where it was a couple of years ago. But we're doing good, though. The economy is good. Mm -mm. Inflation. Watch what happened. Keep your eyes open. Remember you heard it here. I ain't got nothing to gain by lying to y'all. I'm not asking you to send me your money. I'm an investor for you. I'm not asking for your money. I'm telling you to put your own money up. Don't buy anything right now. Give it a minute. Let the storm pass. But we ain't even in the peak of the storm yet. It ain't even got all the way bad yet. It's, it's finna get worse. So if you ain't prepared ahead of time, when the storm actually hit full force, it's going to be too late then. It's going to be too late then. You better go and prepare for the hurricane while the sun's still shining. That's when you prepare for the hurricane. You don't wait for the hurricane to hit. Then go to the mall and try, to Walmart and try to buy some batteries or whatever. Walmart closed. The famine is coming, y'all. Y'all listen to me. Y'all watch my channel. Y'all subscribe. Y'all support me. It's only right that I tell you what I know. Instead of, I ain't just trying to get paid off. I want to help you. Because I don't want to be out here in the world by myself. I don't want to be alone. I want y'all here too. I'm Joseph. Y'all Pharaoh. Prepare for the famine. Prepare for the hard time that I'm telling you is right around the corner. Right around the end of the day now. You might hear, they just dropped a bomb on, a nuclear bomb on such and such. You never know. 
in the day. You can, it, we, can, we can go home today when we get off work, look on Facebook, on the news, and see we had World War, just like that. And you've been around here balling. Ain't got no money. Prepare for the famine. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.